Happy Wednesday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? My name's Caroline. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, mostly floss tube, mostly cross stitch with a little bit of knitting and sewing and general craftiness and chit chat thrown in. I have the most beautiful happy mail to, to share with you today. Coffee break time. Mm. I received a package in the mail yesterday. I actually was, uh, I was spoiled this week. I received two things in the mail. First of all, it was a treat from my friend Judy who remembered my birthday this year. I, I didn't say much about my birthday this year. We kind of, I kind of just was really, it wasn't a big one. You know, it wasn't like a milestone number or anything like that. So, I, and I didn't have any new plans started and John and Nicholas were away. We sort of celebrated together beforehand. So, um, but you know, Judy's just one of those, one of those people is really good at remembering friends' birthdays. And Judy, thank you very much for the Starbucks treat that you tucked inside. Um, I have, I have big plans for it. <laughs> I have big plans for it this weekend. This weekend is uh, 24 hours of cross stitch marathon. If you don't follow Jen Lee Quirks and Stitches, either on YouTube or on uh, Instagram, her Instagram is wonderful. She posts a photo, I think she posts pretty much every day, and it's really funny because she always posts a photo of what she's stitching, and she always places a coffee cup on top of it, and you can just, you can tell that there's a lot of angst in the cross stitch community over this mug of coffee that is sitting on top of her, her work, and Jen is just like, it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. It's fine. I'm careful. And it's just, I love seeing her photos. I love seeing her cross stitch laid out with the coffee cup on it. It just, um, sometimes I feel like just that would start my day off right too. So Jen Lee quirks and stitches. She and her mom, Cindy are the brains behind the 24 hours of cross stitch marathons. Um, and I, I highly recommend that you check her out because you can get all the full details um, much better than I can explain in just 30 seconds. But I know this weekend is a pre-planned 24 hours of cross stitch marathon. Jen is starting a new job next week. So I think that she said um, she wasn't sure that she was going to do it like a like she and her mom normally do a, a weekend of marathon. But I know that they plan on spending time together and stitching and maybe being a little bit more active on video or social media, whatnot. Um, I am going to be working all this weekend, so I don't have, I will not be able to participate uh, this weekend, but I will, I have planned to get out my um, Spring Quakers this coming weekend and any stitching time that I have this weekend, I'm going to be working on my uh, Rosewood Manor spring, spring Quakers. So I'll hopefully have some progress to share with you on Monday for that. The second thing I just received in my mailbox yesterday um, came all the way from the UK and it's from a lovely viewer named Jillian who I've gotten to know just a little bit over the last, the last year or so I think Jillian I'm not sure we've had a couple of little back and forths and um, I think it was last fall Jillian had mentioned that there was a little something that she was thinking that she might want to send and then um, it magically appeared in my mailbox this week and <sighs> there's nothing quite like the magic of, of something other than bills or junk mail in your mailbox am I right like it's like a little bit of magic that just you know, gives you that instant lift. You don't even have to open it <laughs> for it to make you feel happy. So Jillian, thank you. Um, so there were some real treasures tucked inside here. So I'm going to start with the piece de resistance first, because let me tell you, this is a stunner. So let me see if I can tell you a little bit about it first <clears throat> before I, before I show it. Um, okay, so there's 
there's no pattern information. Basically, Jillian says that she stitched it, small piece of embroidery is what I stitched one weekend at a cross stitch guild retreat, which was held in my hometown. Would like you to accept it as a home for the gold needles enclosed. Okay, so there was a little box, a little box, and there's gold needles in here. Look at these, look at these beautiful needles. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Those are amazing. So it says these are the Plue Perfect Needle Collection. One beading needle, one embroidery needle, one size 22, one curved needle, two each of sizes 24, 26, and 28, gold plated to British standard. Looking very much forward to trying those out. So she had stitched, look at this. Look at this little bundle of perfectness. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is just so lovely. Really, I need to make sure that's focused there. Look at that, gorgeous. Look at that, tied up in a tiny little perfect bundle. Okay, let me open it up so that I can show you more closely the, the needlework. So it opens up and there's a felt strip on the inside for your needles. It's the most beautiful needle roll. And, are you ready? Look. Look at the stitching. Hard anger. Um, I've looked, there's beads. I've looked pretty carefully and there is this really wonderful stitch. Um, oh my God, look at that. It's so beautiful. Okay, so there, look at these stitches up here. You see those? Let's wait for that to focus. I'm fairly certain these are bullion stitches all done together to make those beautiful little rosettes. Gorgeous. I tried bullion stitches um, a few years back now, well probably more than a few years back. Um, bullion stitches on the Papillon Creations uh, Summer Garden and <laughs> I gave up. I, sh I really should go and try it again because I mean, wow, what, what absolutely gorgeous texture that adds. I have, I have to show you one more time because look, look at how perfectly done they are. Come on, you can focus. There we go. Look at, look at them. They're just beautifully textured. So pretty. And talk about the perfect floss to use for that it's just gorgeous wow we look at that heart anger and the beads absolutely perfect little teeny tiny details there that the more you look the more you see I'm looking at this backwards those are road stitches aren't they this one's in the middle the more heart anger Look at all the back stitch on those tiny flowers. Look at, I mean, it's just beautiful. And then more rosettes at the bottom. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna scroll down it one more time. It's really hard for me to tell that that was entirely focused the whole time. Again, my eyesight is not the greatest. So I'm gonna scroll down carefully one more time so that you can see it all and I'm gonna cross my fingers that it is completely in focus because wow look at that there. Oh. it's trying I can see it's trying there we go Rosettes. gorgeous gorgeous work Jillian what a treasure. I mean, just, I love it. I love it. It's just so beautiful. And then tied together perfectly with some of the extra floss just around the little button at the top. I mean, how perfect is that little 
needle roll. Absolutely fantastic. She also tucked in here um, two skeins of Oliver Twist skeins, which we used for the hard anger section of the needle roll. So, oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Okay, so this is, this is called a fine cotton. 45, oh, it comes in 45 meters, wow. Oliver Twists by Jean Oliver, hand dyed in the UK. It has a really subtle color shading in here. Can you see it? Beautiful. And then there's a medium cotton. This comes in 25 meters. Color number 20, these are both color there's just color numbers, color number 22. So again, same color, but dyed on a slightly thicker cotton. And that was used in the hard anger part of that design. Gorgeous, just beautiful. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to think of something special to use that in, that's just beautiful. And then, look at this. There is some ribbon from the Delft Market in Holland many years ago that she purchased many years ago. Um, and she's tucked that in here. She's given it to me to remind me of my friend Josh. I mean, really, look at, look at this ribbon. It's perfect. Windmills, oh, come on, camera. You can do it, you can do it. There we go, look at that. It's so beautiful and look it's a it's just the most beautiful ribbon. So I'm going to save this and this is going to go on a, on one of my personal projects to remind me of my friend Josh and my friend Jillian and she tucked look at this <laughs> everything in here is so carefully thought out. There was a teeny little card tucked inside with a tulip on it tucked inside the um, the ribbon. This piece of ribbon was purchased from a lace ribbon stall in the Market Square of Delft many years ago. I thought it was a nice reminder of your friend Josh. Love, Jill. So, Jill. Just, uh, I, I have no, I don't have enough words. I don't have enough words to tell you how much I love this and appreciate, appreciate your friendship. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope that everybody enjoyed seeing that. You know, Jill, can I call you Jill? Feels like I can call you Jill now. Jill is one of those people that you would hope would be your partner at a Smalls Exchange um, because this would just be such a wonderful gift. What a perfect gift to receive at a Smalls Exchange. So I think Stitch North Retreat, um, I know I haven't given an update in a little while, However, doesn't mean that it hasn't been very far from my mind because trust me, I think we all need a retreat. I know there've been a few retreats happening in the States. I live up here in Canada. Things have been a little slower to open back up again. Um, so if, if you have never heard about Stitch North, um, it was a retreat that I was planning right before uh, March, 2020, when the whole world sort of uh, had to pause. And so uh, I fully intend to run that retreat as soon as it is safe to do so. I know our border um, with the United States is uh, just starting to, I think plans are in motion to finally get that ball rolling um, to reopen the border. And at the moment, my plan is to host the Stitch North retreat, cross stitch retreat in April of 2022, but I do not have a date booked yet. I really wanted to wait until the fall um, when I know for certain that it's going to be okay to book and plan because I'm talking about like 175 people. I have already had to cancel twice. I do not want to have to cancel a third time. So in the fall, once everything has become a little bit more clear, um, then I, I hope to have more information at that point. So. It's going to be in Brampton, Ontario, hopefully 
touch wood, in April of 2022. And those of you who have registrations already with me, I don't currently have any, I don't have any registrations open at the moment. Um, those people who had already pre-registered for the last time, last two times that were canceled, um, again, feel free to email me at any time with any questions or concerns that you have. Um, but yeah, wouldn't that make a perfect little Smalls exchange gift? Brilliant. Just brilliant. Okay, uh, I have done a little bit of, of stitching. I've been working on my Modern Folk Embroidery Rule of Life stitch along. Um, I will share that with you tomorrow. I have also, I am so close to finishing Mrs. Claus's Cookie Shop on Santa's Village. I'll show that to you tomorrow. And I've gotten to the lace, the next lace section in my Caroline shawl. If you are participating in this knit along with me, making the Caroline shawl, um, I know I've kind of haphazardly mentioned it now and then, but if you are knitting the Caroline shawl, um, Josh has offered up some rather beautiful cashmere yarn as a prize. So um, please email me if you are knitting this and so that I can then put your name in the hat. And you know, let's, let's draw some name and Josh can send out some beautiful yarn. Caroline at evertote.com if you're knitting the Caroline shawl. And uh, we'll get, I'll, I'll try to do a bit better job at getting that a bit more organized. Um, the only other thing to mention today is the, uh, for the shop, shop news. Um, I have a few things happening this week. Uh, the August bag is about to come out. Um, the, the bag of the month, August bag of the month is almost, I, we're just, I'm just making the sample models today. I have released the July floss. Um, I'll pop in a photo right here. The, there's, there are four colors. One of them is a repeat, cotton candy, which is that sort of bright, 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 light blue. Cotton candy has, has been released previously, but it was never part of a set because it never really went with anything before. It was just this color that was, you know, Carrie was having some fun and it was this magnificent color. Um, but it didn't really fit in with any of the other colors at the time. So I released it, um, but it never really had a home. It has a home now because check out those three other colors. It just matches beautifully. Those other three colors that are brand new, Hubba Bubba, South Beach, and oh my goodness, Creamsicle, Creamsicle. They are the perfect match to belong with cotton candy. So those four are now in the shop. You will find them only in the color set collection button. I have not released them as individual colors, except for cotton candy. Those other three new colors, I'll, I'll release them individually next week. August bag of the month will be up later this week. I'll talk more about that when it's finally ready to share with you. And the uh, Modern Folk Embroidery Mystery September Sampler Stitch Along Again? Siri thought I was talking to her. I was not. <laughs> the Miss, oh, she's still waiting for me to ask her a question. Um, I have some extra linen. I we have contacted, we have tried to contact everyone who purchased without linen when that was sold out. We've heard back from the people who want the linen. Um, if you emailed Hannah and said you wanted linen, the invoice is coming via PayPal. Uh, again, as I've mentioned before, Hannah is away. She's been away. This is her third week away. She's been coming in to work on weekends. Um, she's coming in on Friday afternoon for a few extra hours. So you will receive a PayPal invoice for that extra linen fee for the September sampler uh, mystery, um, Friday, most likely Friday afternoon. She's still waiting. I will be listing the extra linen that I have available later this afternoon. So at probably around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that will be available in the shop under the Modern Folk Embroidery section in my shop because um, Jacob is such a huge star. He needed his own section in the Evertote shop because, well, I need to stitch all of the Jacob things and maybe you do too. So there will be some more linen available, um, full kits. Uh, little linen won't be available separately. It will just be available with the, the rest of the package of the mystery. 
which will be revealed, the mystery will be revealed on September 1st. I might include a teeny tiny little sneak peek of the model. I haven't decided. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll share a little sneak peek of it. It's wonderful. It really is. I love it. I can't wait to share it with you. September 1st is when the mystery will be revealed and I'm really hoping um, that people will have their packages in enough time. We are going to work like mad. Um, once I have all of the puzzle pieces ready to go, uh, we'll be working like crazy to get those out the door to you so that they arrive in time. We're going to do our very best. So again, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there will be more kits available that have linen attached. I will have both uh, 28 count and 32 count available with those kits. Um, again, I don't have a ton, but what I do have, I will list. I hope to have a little bit more in September, but again, with the state of being able to get linen um, to dye, it's been, it's been, uh, slim pickings lately. So uh, we'll just do what we can and uh, use what we have. Okay, so that's it for me today. I better go. I have I have a fair bit to do today. Fortunately, I don't have to call FedEx again today. <laughs> that's a story for another day, let me tell you. Okay, so again, I hope that you're well. I hope that you're safe and that you have some stitching to occupy your time. If you are a fellow Canadian dealing with wildfires at the moment, I am sending you an extra special wish for safety and oh, just stay safe everybody. It's um the the news is has been terrible. We in London here we had we had haze and smoke from the the fires happening currently in uh, northern Ontario. And I know British Columbia, Manitoba, it, it's terrible. The fires are really, really bad this year. So stay safe, everybody. And hopefully I'll be back to say hi again tomorrow and share my, my current stitching with you. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching. <laughs>